What is up ladies and gentlemen? Creep is here back with another video. This time I'm actually, you know, you guys never seen me do any type of videos like this. Uh, it's sort of a semi unboxing because the box itself was already open, although I did everything that you would do normally to do an unboxing. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I now have a computer and now I have the possibility to go into some titles in the PC, including Paladins itself. And I can tell you that I have some tests of the gameplay itself that I'm going to be posting in the end of the video. Uh, the gameplay is actually pretty awesome. I actually tried to record it uh, thinking that it was in the maximum, but then when I noticed there was one more option I had to change, and I put it that to the maximum as well, and it worked perfectly. I actually thought it was going to be doing like something something weird, especially because I was actually recording at the same time, but apparently not. It was actually pretty cool, pretty strong. It's a very strong computer. It's a very beautiful computer as well because it has a lot of um, definitions. I, 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 it's very good on the, when it comes to statics. Uh, it has a glass panel on the left side as you guys can see on the images. Um, now I'm going to be talking a little bit about the pieces itself and then I'm going to be talking where I got the PC itself. First, first thing that I want to talk about and you probably saw the image I put it on the screen that's sort of more, more like um, a combination of the pieces that are in it, but there's one change to it, including on this image right now, as you're seeing on the screen, you think you're seeing the graphics card that I have, but it's not that same graphics card. That was this one change specifically because the shop that I, uh, the, the, the market, uh, physical market where I bought the computer, um, they are scattered all over my, uh, my country, which is Portugal, but this, this shop spe specifically, they changed the graphics card. And so it's a much stronger graphics card than it was supposed to be there. It's not it's not like a huge difference, but it's still very good. It has more cooling, it has more performance. Um, and definitely I'm going to be posting it. And it's probably one of the images that you're going to be seeing next. But for now, let's talk about the things that it brings. Right now you're seeing this image which shows you the case. The case itself has three big ass cooling fans on the front with lightings in it and it can be controlled through softwares and it also can be um you know it has different colors has up to six different colors you can put it to vary itself it you it, it will go on its own um changing the colors in the cycle and um you can actually sync it with the motherboard and the graphics card as you guys probably saw in the video which is really really cool there's a software to actually change all of that. You can actually even see the, you can even, how, how can I explain this? The graphics card has an option to control the color in which you can actually tell, tell it to put the color depending on the temperature of the CPU. Uh, and that's actually pretty awesome because if you're playing like heavy, heavy games, you can put this option. You just look into the graphics card and you can see if it's, it's green. Is it red? Is it, is it yellow? And you will know the temperature of the graphic of the PC of the CPU the and and so on everything around it is actually pretty important to actually know the temperature now the power supply itself is this one you're seeing right here it has 550 this is actually pretty strong compared to my old one which was only I think 220 this is over two times of what she actually brings but Considering on the graphics card that it brings in all of the extra fe features and even the colors, you know, the lights and the fans, it's a lot of things that it has to, you know, um, give energy to you. So it has to be this power supply, whether I want it or not. Now we're seeing the, the, the motherboard, which um, it's an Asus, as you can see here. And this Asus specifically has... Um, a special little part where I can put an Elgato Pro. So this is an Express motherboard and it's really really beautiful itself has lights on it as well. I'm going to be leaving the specs of this graphic this motherboard in the description as long as um, with also the link to the website with the page of this computer specifically and I'm going to be talking a bit a little bit about it after this now i'm just talking about the pieces that the pc brings um then we also have this amazing little processor here it's already from the eighth generation which is you know it's a lot more advanced than it would use it would be if it was like from the sixth or the seventh generation it has six cores and it can do double threading uh, for those who don't know what double threading is it has 12 
um, multitask uh, threads, which technically each one of them work like if it was a core. So technically each core can work as if it was two, which then that's that's what explains the um, the threads itself. It also has a very powerful graphics processor uh, in it as well. Um, then we also have here the unit, uh, the storage unit, which is, this is my main unit. It's only 240 gigabytes, but this is an SSD. And for people who are gamers, definitely they know that this will make your games a lot faster and even, you know, transferring data and etc. So not only the graphics card or the press processor or even the RAM is going to change your, um, your performance, but this will help as well. So all of this matters. Every single thing you have in your computer matters. Don't think that if you have a bad computer like I had before and you just change the graphics card, it's going to be doing a lot because it ain't if you don't have a good RAM, a processor, and so on. Then I have one for only, you know, the, the, the data that I want to keep, like the recordings and etc., which is one terabyte from Toshiba. It's actually pretty nice as well. This is the RAM itself. It's... Uh, 8 gigabytes DDR4, so it's, you know, it's faster. It only has one in case you did see the images, which means I can later on buy another one equally, just the same, the same uh, RAM and put it on the third slot so it can work in, in combination with the first that it's already there, that it's on the slot one. It always works in, um, between slot one and three and then slot two and four so it's basically there's in they are in pairs but it, it's not the one and two and three and four it's you know they're uh, somehow mixed up together then of course the one of the most important things in this computer which is what i'm saying that it was changed as you can see in this image this has three cooling fans and the one that was on supposedly the image that you saw in the beginning was only having one uh, but technically they are almost the same graphics card they're all both GeForce GTX 1060 um, but the first one it's called turbo you can actually go and look it f look it up on the internet and this one it's called Strix I don't really understand the, the major difference that it is on the performance um, but you know for people who are very um, uh, they have a lot of knowledge on computers and informatics and etc they definitely know the difference and if you don't know the difference just go into the internet and search for that difference you, you're gonna see that they are different okay um, this is an Asus this is not an Nvidia I think there's some sort of co a correlation with them uh, but I'm not entirely sure I know that it's called Strix and uh, oh well I'm gonna be starting playing with Strix as well in Paladins for people who don't know what I'm talking about in Paladins there's actually a champion called Strix it's sort of like a pun if you ask me this is this is almost like funny because um i'm really eager to try this this champion on the pc that it's a lot easier to use a sniper now talking a little bit about the shop itself uh this is not a paid video okay this is just an unboxing of a computer that i bought and the store itself ca calls itself ship set with it's technically in portuguese it's a seven in the end so technically translated to english would be ship seven but it's so almost like a pun if you ask me because of the ship set of the computer itself you know so the store, the store itself in portuguese you read it like ship set and um, there's over 60 stores throughout portugal and this store is actually pretty old they exist over 15 years already and they are amazing when it comes to computers i can tell you that if you want a gaming computer you definitely gonna have to go here or even another type of computer it doesn't really matter going into the normal type of stores uh, you know it's not the same thing you're gonna be paying a lot more and you're not gonna have that much of a performance thing here you know what I'm trying to say is don't buy pre-built computers if you really want a good computer go into a store that it's specialized into this type of things and back here in Portugal chipset um, it's actually very advanced in this type of things they have a lot a lot a lot of computers both portable computers and desktops they also sell um little pieces like graphics card processors and etc even keyboards um you know headsets all you guys are thinking that it's connected to computers and informatics it's there guys so definitely for those who are portuguese and those who do know this uh, this store, I would recommend you guys go in there. Um, 
as I said before, this is not a paid video. They didn't pay me to do this video, but I did say to them that I was going to be doing it. They said there was no problem with it. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to thank them for actually creating this computer. This computer is actually pretty strong. Um, this is actually my first computer that I have oh, with this, you know, this immense power. So I, I, I'm still... I still don't know what I actually can do with this computer and with time I'm going to be testing it out doing much more you know higher quality videos faster because now I can render and record much faster than before and even edit so you know it's going to be much better definitely I'm going to start being playing more Paladins on the PC uh, as you guys know I'm I'm more of a Paladins YouTuber than anything else but I'm trying to extend my areas now especially now that I have a computer that can actually run big high-end games like uh, Call of Duty, uh, Crisis, Assassin's Creed, all of those games, but in full HD, ladies and gentlemen, over 4K, I don't know, whatever you, we can try to pull with this computer, we're going to be trying it. I can definitely tell you that I tried Fortnite, Crisis, Call of Duty, t uh, Patterns, and it didn't flinch once, okay? This computer is amazing. It was... Um, pretty strong and as you guys are probably seeing the images right now I definitely just put it at the, the Fortnite uh, little gameplay that I got it's it's uh, the I mean the game itself asked me if I wanted you know to evaluate based on the hardware the best options for the game and I let it and when I went into the options and see it uh, and I saw the options that were there it was all in the maximum possible there was nothing I needed to change. So then I just started playing. I was actually pretty stupid to actually try to play the game while installing a game in the background, which is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And also, um, I was actually uh, downloading a program at the same time. Then it was going really, really fast. It was a uh, very heavy program. So technically, all of that was working in the background. So if you see like this little flinch once in a while, it's not breaking it's not the computer that it doesn't have the process power to it it's actually lagging because it's taking a lot of the, um, the internet um then probably i'm going to be putting also paladins here uh as i said before i tried to play paladins um in the maximum and then when i noticed there's the the resolution scale option i forgot to put it into the maximum so i was like i was really scared oh shit if I put this into the maximum, is it possible that it's not going to be holding it? So, um, in, especially because I'm recording it at the same time. Um, and yeah, so uh, I actually put it up into the maximum. It worked perfectly. And yeah, for those people who wanted to play with me on the PC Paladins, and I did told you guys to wait a little bit. That's This is because, this is why I was telling you guys this. This uh, last stream that I did, it was actually all done with this computer i actually said in the stream that i was doing it with my brother's computer which is also a recent computer bought recently with a strong process power and etc but it was not uh it was with this computer and it's very amazing it didn't stop once it didn't give me one problem whatsoever during the stream so if one day i start doing streams with my face in it you know the face reveal and etc it's gonna be a lot easier Definitely, that's gonna be a lot easier, especially because we're having with the Elgato, it actually has a lot of software editing powers, you know, to 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 the stream and also recording, which is amazing. Now you guys have seen some Call of Duty gameplay in the background. Uh, I just went into the first two missions uh, and saw the graphics. It was pretty nice. I can tell you that I actually went into the options and changed it one thing. I think it was about motion blur or something like that. And there was like one or two options that I could have put it even stronger. But I was trying to find out what was wrong with the recording. And I found out that it was um, because I was trying to use OBS in the beginning. And then when I went back and recorded it with the Elgato, I actually forgot to change these options into the extra. But you are totally sure that it w will work and it's pretty damn nice. Uh, and finally, the gameplay for Crisis here which has amazing graphics uh, and yeah everything is basically at the tops uh, I'm definitely gonna be putting here a little bit of the options so you guys can see how much I increased it the, the graphics and then there's a little bit of gameplay so yeah guys that's basically it I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay I hope you guys enjoyed the the unboxing itself I put a little music on the background 
me and my wife were actually the ones who were recording it. So I'm I'm sorry for actually the the quality. It was all recorded with a cell phone because I don't have a camera a camera yet. Um, but the cell phone itself has a lot of power in uh, the camera, so I think it was actually pretty good. You guys can see it during a lot of times. Um, I was actually pointing, trying to show you guys certain things or indicate you guys certain things because my voice with the, the cell phone recording wouldn't be good, so forget about it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Creepers, and I'll see you guys on my next video.